A school shooting in Serbia's capital, Belgrade, has left eight children and a security guard dead. Serbian officials say the alleged shooter is a 14-year-old student who's now in custody. According to the Interior Ministry, another seven people are hospitalised. Scott McLean uh, following all these developments for us. Uh, what happened here? It's not the sort of story we hear from Serbia very often. It's certainly not, and especially not from this school, which is in an upscale part of Belgrade, one of the most famous schools in the city. But we know that this happened around 8.40 in the morning, according to the authorities. Police, there was a, obviously a massive police response when this 14-year-old boy walked into this school with two pistols, a 9mm and a smaller gauge pistol, and started shooting. Police also said that he had four Molotov cocktails with him. When police got to him, he was actually in the school yard. So what we know about injuries right now is that there were nine killed, eight of them kids, one a security guard. There are seven people injured, six of them children, one of them a teacher, a 53-year-old, we understand, uh, suffering from gunshot wounds to her stomach and her hands as well. There is also one girl uh, that at last word was undergoing life-threatening surgery inside of the hospital. Um, as I said, this is a 14-year-old boy. So seventh grade, there was a picture of him coming out of the school. They're, they've only identified him thus far by his initials, KK. He had a jacket over his head, uh, skinny jeans on. He got into an unmarked police car and, and was taken away. Shortly after that, we also saw students. Or at some point, we saw students also coming out. Some of them were quite visibly distraught as they were coming out of the school. One girl was in tears. Uh, a mother told uh, our local affiliate there that her daughter is frankly in shock. She cannot get her to calm down right now. There's a press conference happening right now with, with authorities uh, from government and from police, and police have described this as something that was being planned for more than a month now. They said that the shooter had a plan uh, as to which specific classrooms to go to. Apparently the history mm -hmm. one was chosen because it was near to the door which specific students to go after. And so this seems like something is pre-planned. One official blamed the influence of internet video games so far as sort of an initial cause. Um, the gun came from where and how common are guns there? Yeah, so initially, uh, or the initial report at least, is that these are guns that were taken by this 14-year-old student from his father. So guns are not nearly as common in Serbia as they are in, say, the United States, which is why you don't hear this kind of thing from Serbia. It's also a very small country. Um, but there are also strict gun laws. You, in order to get one, you can only get a semi-automatic. Automatic guns are banned. But in order to get one, you basically have to go through a medical exam. You have to go through a background check. You have to have a reason to have one, like sport hunting or a, a good reason to feel like you're under threat. And you also have to do a, a training course. There's also lots of guns, though, left, or, left around from the Civil uh, War back in the 90s. And so one estimate from 2018 suggested that Serbia actually, per 100 people, had the third highest rates mm. of civilian guns floating around there. Uh, the number is uh, 39 per 100 people. But just for comparison's sake, the U.S. number is 120 guns per 100 people. So obviously not nearly as common, but one of the more common places to find guns, certainly in Europe and, and the world. Okay, Scott, thank you.